So it's me, your boy, Kiss Samson. You know, mm, this message is made for us particularly. Listen, it takes risk to be successful in life. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. This message is for us. If you have not subscribed to my channel, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, if you have not subscribed, if you have not followed me on TikTok, please kindly. It's me. It's the same name, Kogo Samson. So listen, it takes risk. To be successful in life so if you want to make change in your life if you if you're not happy with the situation you are now listen you need to do what to wait to this tons of video listen i don't care what you are passing through i don't care how long you have been betrayed i don't care how long you have been suffering i don't care how long people have mock on you but i'm here to let you know you can change and rewrite that story by stepping out and tell that story. I may fall, but I will rise again. I, I may go down, but I, I will rise again. The Bible says, It is the Lord that doeth it that men may do what? Fear them. He said, The righteous will fall, but they will rise again. God said to Ezekiel, He said to Ezekiel prophetically, Ezekiel, listen and listen good. Hear me and hear me good. He said, can this bone, can this dry bone, can this bone rise again? And Ezekiel looked around and said, yes, Lord, the bone can rise again. He thought not that the Lord cannot raise the bone instantly, but God needs your effort. He needs your courage. He needs your understanding. He needs your move before he can move. So before God moves in your own situation, he needs to see if you are ready to move with him. God, listen, before God step into that your pain, he needs to watch how many steps you will take. And he himself will do what we follow you. So what am I trying to say is this, whatsoever you are passing through today is never and it can never and it will never be the end of your life. Listen, pain is what brings out the lion in you. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> pain is what brings out the strength, the lion, the power that is hidden in you. So don't quit because of the pain that you are facing through. You need to risk your life in order for you to get your life. Listen, one of my greatest motivators that I do used to watch, he was from America. So he said the word, he said, if you are not ready to sacrifice what you have, like your time, your energy, your effort, if you're not ready to sacrifice them in order for you to get that which you need to be successful, that thing that you need <laughs> will be sacrificed in presence of what you ought to sacrifice for you to get to that place where you need to be. So what am I trying to say? In order for you to make change, if you don't like your situation, you need to step out. And God will step in. <laughs> hey God, that, that demon. Listen, let me explain. You need to step what forward. You need to step out of that situation so that God can step in. In. Listen, it takes risk for you to step out of that situation. Because once it becomes normal, it becomes habit. Once it becomes habit, it becomes what? What? How will I say it? He becomes what? Addicted. You become addicted to it. So you need to change the habit of being what? Comfort with what is not comfortable are with you. You need to change the habit of thinking and expecting that someone will change it for you. You, you need to make move. <laughs> you need to make move. You can be successful if only you can risk to make two step. <laughs> you can be successful. You can break some records. Listen, it's not that God is not available to do what? To fight for you. It's not that God is not available to change your situation. The issue here is, are you ready to move a step? Move, just move, make a step. God will follow. So what am I trying to say, brothers and sisters? It takes risk to be successful in, the, in this world we are living. Yes, it takes risk. You know, I learned a lot from my master. I mean, the, the present master that I'm working with. 
the reason why I love him so much, you know, some, sometimes he still make me annoyed. You know, I mean, me myself, <laughs> forget. <laughs> well, one day I was just thinking within me, if, if I use this, my attitudes, meet my dad one day, maybe they provoke me. I act the way I do used to act like this. My daddy will not hesitate to give me a slap, no, no matter how big I may feel. He will give me a, slap, a, a heavy slap. So what am I trying to say is this. The reason why I like my master so much, because he don't give a damn to what people is going to say about him. And he don't, he don't try to impress anybody. <laughs> you know, I'm a type of person that I don't learn, I'm, I'm not interested how much you pay me. I'm interested on what I can learn from you in order for me to make a change. So my master is a type of person that don't give a dent on what people say. I'm not saying this because I love him so much. No, I love what he's doing, not because I love him. I love them, the, his action, his habit, his attitude towards his work. So he's a type of a man that is always available 24 hours to make sure the business grow so you need to take risk that thing that you are doing people are mocking you stop listening to what people are saying that is the reason why majority of us are still where we are today no change not because i know the enemies are rolling around they are not happy whenever they see you doing well they are not happy whenever they see you making move they are not happy whenever they see you achieving success that is the main reason but they are not allowed to bring you down it is your habit that do what that bring you down it's not them only Yes, the truth is that many of them are not going to be happy to see you do more than them, more successful than them. But the issue here is this. Have you taken a step in order for God to follow you? You know what I'm saying? So, you can, I don't care what you are facing through, what you are passing through, what, what you are facing now. I bet you, I believe what I'm saying, you will be successful if only you can take a little what, risk. You know what I'm saying? You can be successful you know that is the mindset i do used to have when i was frustrated when someone pushed me out i become homeless i i was so what so humiliated so abandoned that you up to 50 friends i have none of them care about me only one so what am i trying to say i decide to risk it and move now that i'm okay now because most of you used to watch my my videos the clothes, etc., the place I do used to live. Not that I'm okay, but there's different between then and now. Believe me, there's different because nothing like peace of mind. You want to go out, you have the freedom to go out. You want to go and buy anything you want to buy, you have the freedom. You want to sleep, you have the freedom. Anytime you feel like, you know, all those things are more, more important than anything that you can count on. So that is the what the things there are some certain things you need to risk to fight in order for you to make it in order for you to feel well mentally physically ac academically financially so what am i trying to say is this you need to do what to fight for your own freedom don't expect someone to make change for you but rather make change for yourself because i believe and i know you and you alone can do it. Remember, it takes risk to be successful. It don't take fear because devil will always bring out that fear in order for him to quit you. But if only you can take a little risk, you can make it and make it rain. Remember blessed.